Hello, today we're going to be covering invoice adjustments. As you can see here, we're on a Meridian senior living job at Gentry Park of Orlando. Now I just received a request that we need to send these invoices separately from other service location under Meridian Senior Living. If you could please do this at your earliest convenience. So this is the address they want it to be billed to. Just to confirm, John said, just to clarify, we need all these invoices to be moved to a new account of their own under the client name Gentry Park with that address. Alrighty. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to copy this. Let's go back to the service Titan. We're going to open a new tab the call booking screen. Now the call booking screen is where we can create new clients. So we're going to click the new customer button here. We're going to put in Gentry Park. Paste that address they gave us. We're going to hit this little geo marker and it should give us the exact address. So we're going to go ahead and Google to confirm what their phone number is, unless you already have it. So let's get their main number. We can confirm that is the address as well. And under phone, put that, we're going to put main phone. Let me see if we can find any email addresses here. We'll also put Jack's information. What's his name? Jack Barnes. I'm not seeing an email right now, so I'm just going to put no at no.com. And then here we're going to put delete to remind ourselves to delete this later until we get the actual address. So this is, of course, is a commercial client. We're going to select commercial. And if we did have a rate sheet set up for them, in particular, we could enter that here. Although I don't believe they have their own, but let's check Meridian. No, they don't. Okay, so right now we're going to keep it as a standard rate sheet and we're going to go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and select yes. This is saying there's already a location with this address but we are going to create a new one because they need it as its own customer profile. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead in the notes and say created new customer profile for John F for John Fulford. That way, if anyone has any questions about this, they know who created this. Now, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit pencil. And let's delete that email address. That is no good. And we're going to make this non-taxable because they are.
Okay, now that we created the new customer profile that we need, we can go ahead with the invoice adjustments. So the first one we have on our list is this job right here. I'm gonna go to close this. So this is the first one we need to work on and move. As you can see here, it's billed to Meridian Senior Living, but this actually needs to be billed to Gentry Park of Orlando. Uh, now on this invoice, it's listed as a service location, but uh, to bill this, it needs to be listed as the bill to. So that is why we created that new customer account. And we're going to remove the balance from Meridian Senior Living. And then we're going to create an invoice under Gentry Park so we can bill them. So this is how you do it. We're going to go to add an invoice adjustment. Now, before I start this, I want to I want to let you know the best way to do this is to open another tab with this job. So you right click on here, go to open link and new tab. Okay, now you want to have two screens when you're doing this. So we're going to move this over to our second screen. You can't see it, but it's here. And then go to the invoice page. So you have two invoice pages open. Okay, now we're going to go to add an adjustment invoice. And click OK. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to uh, this update invoice details. We're going to change invoice type to COD. And then down here, we're just going to type in invoice adjustment. Now I'm going to put per John F, whoever told you to do the invoice adjustment. And we're going to click save. That's it. All right. Now we're going to add a task. So now that we can see on our other screen, the invoice page, we know what tasks to add. So we're just going to start at the top FM ASL dash three. That's the trip charge. We're going to delete this description and we're going to type in invoice adjustment again. All right, I want to go ahead and select all and copy. So we can use that on the next one. Here, we're going to put a negative in front of the 40. Whatever the price is, just put a minus sign in front of it. And there's no sold hours, so we can click save. All right, we got that. Let's go to add task again. The next one is FM-ASL-2. And that should be our labor. Yep. So select all that. Control V to paste the invoice adjustment text. Put a minus sign in front of 150. And then now, see so you see sold hours here at the bottom. We need to get rid of these two. So negative one in front of that. Remember that it's important. And we're going to click save. Okay, so now I am going to add the last task, which is a miscellaneous service. And since this was, it says K60 on it, we're going to do that. And then invoice adjustment. So that way we know what it is. The unit price. Yeah. 
and the price was $45. So I put negative 45. There's no sold hours. So we can click save. Okay, so we can see the total is negative two, three, five, two hundred thirty-five dollars. So I'm going to bring this over so we can make sure it's the same. Yep, two hundred thirty-five dollars. Perfect. Okay, so our first invoice adjustment is done. So we're going to go ahead and click back to the original invoice. And now we're going to create another adjustment invoice. Click OK. Now we're going to go to update invoice details. Now this is a bit different. So if they are a net 30 client, which they are, you can see it up here, net 30. We're going to go ahead and click net 30. And that'll be the billing term for this invoice. So we're going to go ahead and copy the text from the original invoice, the whole invoice summary, don't miss anything. And then we're gonna paste it here, okay? And then save. Oh, I forgot the most important part. So let's go back to invo update invoice details. We're gonna change Meridian Senior Living to Gentry Park, the new for profile we made and there it is and now we can click save and then we're going to start adding our tasks Everything looks good. Save. Add a task. MASL2. 50 looks good, looks good. Save. And then last one is miscellaneous service. We're going to put K60, just like the original, and then change the price to 45. Save. As you can see here, the total is 235, and that is the same as our original invoice. So let's click back to the original invoice page. And as you can see here, we have two adjustment invoices. One, removing this total from Bridian Senior Living, and now we are going to build Gentry Park for that amount. So now as an account manager, you would go ahead and email or print and send the invoice to the customer for payment. Uh, you're not going to send this one, though. You would click into this Gentry Park um, estimate first. And then you can send right from here, email, just like you would the original invoice. Alrighty. Thank you for your time.